Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on exploring the format button on a Casio Classwiz CW model. I'm using the FX85 GTCW model in this video. You may have that model or perhaps another model of Classwiz CW calculator, possibly the FX991CW or similar model or any model that has the format button, this video should be relevant for you. And I will point out any differences that I'm aware of as we go through. We are going to start with a fraction example. From the home menu, select calculate, and it's 16 thirds plus four ninths. And press execute. And here's the answer, 52 over nine. The way that the initial answer is presented depends upon the settings of your calculator. And we can explore the different settings of the calculator in another video. But I'm just showing mine here. Now, my input output is set to math I, math O. Now, in terms of the answer, that means my answer can be displayed as a fraction, or if it has a square root, a radical or a third, or in terms of pi, if that's relevant. My number format is set to norm two, and the fraction result is set to improper. And you can see here that we have an improper fraction, 52 over nine. Maybe you have something slightly different. If so, it's to do with how your calculator is set up. Let's see how this is referred to in the format menu. So press the format button, and it's the first option that we have here, standard. So the standard will give what the calculator is set up to present as an answer. So according to the settings of your calculator. Now you may have had a decimal initially if you had your calculator set to line output, but if you haven't and you want a decimal, we need to select the second option here, decimal, press okay. And we have the answer presented as a decimal to, well, 10 significant figures. And you can see that it's actually rounded the final digit there Eight, it's actually sevens recurring, and we'll explore that in just a moment, but it's given it to 10 significant figures. Now, if we have a recurring decimal, which we do in this case, then the recurring decimal will appear as an option in the format menu. This isn't true for all models of CW. In fact, I couldn't find this on the FX991CW model. It doesn't appear to be an option. So you'll just have to check with your model of CW Classways if you've got recurring decimal as an option. It is here on the, the 85 GTCW model, but only if your answer can be displayed as a recurring decimal, and this one can. So let's select that one. And you can see here it's 5.7 recurring. We can see the little dot above the seven indicating that that seven is going to recur. Depending on which country you're in or what model of calculator you have, that might display as a line maybe instead. So comment below if yours displays slightly differently. Let's return to format again. Now we've got a pair of options that go together here. Now we've got improper fraction, uh, which we could switch back to at this stage, but remember that was our standard according to the settings of the calculator. So I'm just going to navigate down and select mix fraction. That's known as a mixed number here in the UK. So we'll select that. And that's essentially a mix of an integer value, five, and then a fraction part as well, seven over nine, five and seven ninths. And you could have in your settings, if you had your fraction result as a mixed fraction, you would have this initially as your standard. And then what you could do is to press format and select improper fraction. We can do that now to switch back. 52 over nine. For the next two format options, I'm going to choose an integer value. I'm going to just input 6,500 and demonstrate how they work. Press execute. You can see here actually, incidentally, that I've got the digit separator on here that separates thousands or groups of thousands. So 6,000, the six is separated from the 500. Press format and you can see we've got an option here of prime factor that we didn't have with the fraction there. So let's select that. And you can see here that it's broken it into prime factors or a product of prime factors, two squared times five cubed times 13. 
So the number is given there as a product of its prime factors, which may be useful to you to answer various questions. Let's return to format and let's go to engineering notation to have a look at what this is all about. So this will display answers as powers of 10, but powers of 10 where the power is a multiple of three. So you can see initially it's given that as 6.5 times 10 to the three. Now we've got arrows available here. So if we scroll left, we can see that displayed then as 0 0.0065 times 10 to the six. So we've gone up 10 to the power of three in terms of our increment there. And then we could continue to go further left, but I'm going to reduce this down back to 6.5 times 10 to the three and then down to 6,500 times 10 to the zero or 6,500,000 times 10 to the minus three. How that could be useful is you could say, well, if you're thinking about units, um, we could say that this was 6,500,000 milligrams, which would be 6,500 grams, which would be 6.5 kilograms. And if you want to lock in the format that you want, say 6.5 times 10 to the three, then just press execute. And then that gives you, uh, it is the answer there. So we can scroll through the different engineering levels that we have as an answer for our calculator. For the final format option here, I'm going to do another example. I'm going to add uh, hours here. So I'm going to add three and a half. I'm going to do that as a mixed number, a mixed fraction, plus four and a quarter hours. And I'm going to see how much time that is added together. This could be something that you could work out yourself mentally perhaps, but I'm just using this as a simple example. So three and a half hours plus four and a quarter hours. Well, initially when I press execute, once again, that's displayed that as an improper fraction. Remember that's how my calculator is set up, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything in terms of time. 31 over four, 31 quarters of an hour. So to give it a bit more context, what we can do is to go to format and then select the sexagesimal display. And if we select that, we can see it displayed here. Well, technically this is seven degrees, 45 minutes, but the best way to read that in terms of time is seven hours, 45 minutes. So how much time is three and a half hours plus four and a quarter hours? It's seven hours, 45 minutes. And if you wanted that as a fraction, you could go to the mixed fraction if you wanted to, seven and three quarter hours if you wanted to do that. So there we go, exploring the format button on the CW range of ClassWiz. Hopefully in a future video, we can explore a little bit more about how the settings may alter that slightly. And once again, remember, I hadn't spotted the recurring decimal on the FX991 CW model. So if you do have that model, it's for some reason not an option available to you. Let me know below if you've got a different model there with format and the sort of options that are available to you. Hopefully it's all of those. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.